guys we have discussed a diels alder reaction in third semester in pericyclic reactions now we are going to study same concept in retrosynthetic analysis also now here it is very simple give one example di with dienophile will give you an adder this is a simple example you know as well so i am not going to explain this now i will take a molecule this is also a cyclohexene type of molecule which is which has an electron withdrawing group at a certain place now which will undergo retrosynthetic analysis and you will get a diene and dienophile now any complicated molecule can also be synthesized by diels alder reaction now can you see in second ex example which is much complicated than the first one but this makes this will give you diene and dienophile and the uh, synthesis is also very easy because it has two electron withdrawing group any cyclohexene molecule which contains an electron withdrawing group will make that synthesis easy so we can do retrosynthetic analysis very easily now this is only not enough for the for five marks we also need to explain the stereochemistry of the reaction the first one is stereospecificity stereospecificity means the diene and dienophile stereochemistry retains in the product that is if we are using trans dienophile this is diene two double bonds di means two ene means double bond right two double bonds diene and this is dienophile now what is the role of this electron withdrawing group this electron withdrawing group will make this dienophile more electron deficient as it becomes more electron deficient it will attract this diene more effectively and you will get product more prominently now when you use trans dienophile you will get trans product when you use cis dienophile you will get cis product this is known as stereospecificity right the stereospecificity of dienophile is retained in the product now one more very important thing is stereoselectivity that is endoselectivity now here we are getting for cis we are getting cis for trans we are getting trans which is 100% but in endosel in stereoselectivity it is not like that we are getting two products with where endo is predominant now can you see this diene and dienophile now we are getting these two structures what is exo very simple to remember see this double bond and this part this part and this part this is down this is upside here both are bent both are downside so this is endo product usually when we see this exo product is most stable product but then also we are getting in a less percentage this is a minor product but endo product being not much stable as that of the exo it is the most predominant product why because this endo product is kinetically stable product now if you see the graph now energy of activation required for required to form this endoselectivity product is less energy of activation required is less but for this exo you require more electron uh, sorry more energy of activation to form the product but the product whatever formed due to this is very much stable than that of the endo now one more product one more thing is regioselectivity this is one substituted diene and this is two substituted diene if you number like this 1 2 3 4 this is one substituted this is two substituted one substituted diene reacts with dienophile will give you ortho product this is c double bond o group which is methyl group is ortho to this group when two substituted product react with dienophile it will give you para substituted product where you are not getting meta product in both the cases now very simple example you can give is fg ion diels sider reaction now what is this this is an alkene form now how to convert this into c double bond o we have we need to convert it into by wittig rea wittig reaction so c double bond this is this will be getting converted into c double bond o now further you apply diels sider reaction now this is electron withdrawing group so you can easily apply diels sider reaction and you get you can get the synthons now put synthetic equivalence add tin sncl4 you will get this 31 this is weddell craft reaction then you use wittig reaction and you will get a target molecule thank you